So how many of you guys like baking in the fall and the winter months of the year? I feel like this is when baking and cooking becomes most popular and fun because of the holidays. I have been baking for several years now with my dad and um, I feel as if the pumpkin spice is the epitome of fall baking. And so for those of you who don't like pumpkin spice, today I will be demonstrating how to make my family's holiday cookies, which are called Sister St. John cookies or cocoon cookies. Um, these have been passed down in my dad's family. He's been making them since he was a kid. We've been making them in our family since I was born. And these cookies are also popular in Italian families for weddings and Christmas cookies. So today in my speech, I will be addressing what ingredients to use, how much of each ingredient to use, um, mixing the ingredients, and baking and preparing finished cookie dough. Okay, so the first ingredient is flour, and we're going to mix the flour with the butter because the flour is the dry ingredient in this recipe. And flour is important in baking cookies because according to an article in the Food and Wine magazine titled The Science of Baking Cookies, flour is what helps the cookies retain their structure or their shape. So flour can make the cookies crumbly, or they can make them chewy, or they can make, or they can make it crispy. And cookies that need to maintain their structure while baking, such as biscotti or pinwheel cookies, will have a higher ratio of flour. The next ingredient is the butter. And the butter is important because according to an article called Six Ingredients That Can Affect Your Cookies, um, you want to keep the butter at room temperature when mixing it with the sugar because if you melt the butter, it is going to absorb the sugar and that is what makes the cookies tender and flat and you don't want that. So we mix the room temperature butter with the powdered sugar and so that creates air pockets in the cookie dough resulting in puffier cookies. The next ingredient is the vanilla and the vanilla is a flavoring agent that helps make the cookies sweeter. The next ingredient is pecans which is also a flavoring agent and they are also crunchy so they give the cookie that nice um, texture. The next ingredient is the powdered sugar, which is another flavoring agent and it helps make the cookie sweet because we are not using granulated or brown sugar. And it is also really appealing to like the eyes. And the last ingredient is the salt. And we need salt in our cookies because it will help enhance the flavor of the other ingredients, as well as making sure the cookies aren't too sweet, according to an article called Why All Desserts Need Salt by Elise Whitman. Okay, so how much of each ingredient to use? So we're going to use one stick of butter, two tablespoons of powdered sugar, half a cup of pecans, one cup of flour, half a tablespoon of vanilla, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay, and so before we start mixing the ingredients, you're gonna want to set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit so that it has time to preheat. So first we're going to add the butter and the sugar. And we're going to cream it to create a um, creamy consistency. Okay, so now that we've creamed the butter and sugar, that's what it should look like. We're going to add the rest of the ingredients. So we're going to add the flour and the pecans and then the vanilla, and then the salt. And you can start mixing with your spoon, but um, eventually we're going to have to use our hands to do the rest. So you're just going to want to mix the butter and sugar and the dry ingredients until your cookie dough is nice and sticky. Okay, so now that the dough is all sticky, we're going to take 
a little bit of dough, like about this size, and roll it into a ball. And then we're gonna place that ball on an ungreased cookie sheet. And you're going to keep doing that until you've made balls out of all the dough. Okay, so now that the cookies are all made, we're going to put them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the bottom turns a nice light golden color. And while they're baking, we're going to fill a bag to a third with powdered sugar because once they come out, we're going to wait a couple minutes and then put two to three cookies in the bag and shift the sugar around so that it sticks to the cookie. And you want to do this while the cookies are still warm, otherwise the sugar won't stick. Okay, so here are the cookies and you can see they have that nice light golden bottom. And so we're going to put the cookie in the powdered sugar and we're going to maneuver it around while it's still warm so that the sugar will melt and stick to the cookie. And then we're gonna take the cookie out and put it on a plate. And so here's the finished product. Today I demonstrated how to make my family's Sister St. John or Cocoon cookies, which are perfect for those of you that don't like pumpkin spice or chocolate. In my speech, I addressed what ingredients to use, how much of each ingredient to use, mixing the ingredients, and preparing and baking the finished dough. How many of you would like to try this recipe?